Hello all, myself Professor AJ More, Assistant Professor, Engineering Sciences Department from AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today my topic is discussion about different AutoCAD commands. So to learn the AutoCAD, there are various types of commands are required to learn. So in this session, we'll learn so basics of auto commands, which are the auto commands are used, AutoCAD commands are used. So there are various types of commands used in the AutoCAD. So which perform certain tasks for the different entities. So use of commands to tell AutoCAD the action you want to perform and AutoCAD respond with your command prompts. Command prompts tell you the status of an action, uh, the queue, uh, the few options from which you must choose the complete command. There are various types of commands are available to start with the commands in the AutoCAD. Uh, there are various uh, drafting softwares are also available. You may say uh, JWCAD, AutoCAD, or any version of AutoCAD. So uh, in this, we can start with your entity or drawing with the AutoCAD menus, then shortcut menus, accelerator made keys, or the toolbar or command line. So by this way, we can draw any uh, entity or the diagram. So useful keyboard for or the various keys to start with the AutoCAD to complete the drawing in the easier way or in the fast mode, we can use various keys. The first one is the F1 key, contest sensitive health. Then second, F2, toggling the graphics windows and text windows. F3 command is F3 key is for turning the, turning, running the object, snap on an app. That is snap key. F5 key, cycling through the isometric pl uh, planes. We can rotate the isometric plane that we can use the F5 key. F6 key, size, uh, cycling through the coordinate display types. Various coordinates can be displayed with respect to the geometry by the F6 key. F7 key, we can make grid on and off uh, with respect to the diagram which is there, then F8 key to make the straight line, perpendicular line, ortho key, that is ortho on and off, we can make the face F8 key on and off. Then F9 key, toggling snap, off, snap mode to make the entity point to point on and off by using F9 key. F10 key, we can go toggling polar mode, we can use the polar mode by using F10 key accept key, accept key to exit from any command. So that is accept key if you enter to uh, start or the uh, invoke the last command, use the command. So then we can end the command by using entering the key. So these are the keys which we can use to complete our drawing part away. So these are, these, these are where the shortcuts of the uh, commands. Regarding how we can start the command, the command prompts flow in the same way. The AutoCAD either display the prompt, uh, displays the prompts on the command line or display a dialog box. The promote the format is constructional in, uh, current instruction or the option current value. Then current instruction begin with the four work. The verbs kind of communicates the action you can perform that's shown in the goes select. Use the pointing device to select the object, then enter the values on command line, then specify the select point on the screen or enter the coordinate, then digitize, that is the select the point on the digitizing table. Then commands often have options which are displayed within brackets. So we have to follow the instruction as per the uh, whatever the AutoCAD uh, which provides us. So the basic geometrical symbols, if you see on the, uh, before going to the actual interface of the AutoCAD uh, display, we can have 
there are various uh, basic geometries we need to draw. We need to draw the point, line, rays, X lines, M lines, arc, circle, polygons, rectangle, ellipse, line, line, etc. We can use the basic commands to draw the those entities. Then text command to give the dimensions or to text the problems or to write the some content about the geometry or product, we can use the text lines or uh, multi text lines to give a command about the or uh, statements about the product so that we can use the text command. Then dimension commands, I can use the dimension command beam command to give the dimensional values or major values on the given figure. Then hatch command to show the hatching command to show the hatching line sectional line I can use the hatch command so hatch we hatch region we can go for the uh, using those commands if you see the figure uh, diagram actually this is the interface of I can say AutoCAD or JWCAD this is the JWCAD interface you can see various uh, commands or the features you will find on this particular screen so that just like you, our microsoft word you will find new file open save save as print or import and export then there are certain basic commands like line polyline circle arc ellipse hatch commands spline spline revolve section and some Modifying commands. Modifying commands are required to move the, uh, sorry, uh, modify the existing entity. It may be the copy, fillet, stretch, rotate, or uh, move, uh, delete, etc., etc. So many commands are there. Uh, uh, modifying commands. Based on that, we can show the dimensions. So on the bottom side, you will see the command prompt line. The any a feature we can draw by using any TV. First, I can uh, draw by using command prompt line. I can directly type the command, uh, whatever I want to draw. Then I can use the icons which are displayed there, or I can go with the command prompt line. These are the, you can say the home, solid, attenuate, and uh, uh, insert view tools manage export express all are the tabs on so by using these tabs i can get the different tools to draw so this is the interface of the uh, uh, jwcad or you can say the CAD software so on the bottom side you will find the whatever shortcuts we have say grid snap and on ortho on ortho off or the snap on and off and the different thicknesses of lines that we can uh, use these tabs instead of keys directly. So in that way, we can complete our, uh, 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 we can start our uh, practicing base, by using basic and modifying command, our actual uh, diagram. So I will go for the, our actual interface of the diagram. So if you see, this is the line. So firstly, I will delete the same, so delete the command. So if I want to draw an entity by using the command prompt, I can use the line, let's say line, see the command prompt line. Then it is asking the first, specify first point of the line. So I will specify first point. What is the end point? Let's, let's say I want the 100 mm length line. So enter the 100 mm length and enter. So it will be executed the dimensions of the line is equal to the 100 mm. So if I want to show the dimension of this particular feature, you can use the dimension line. So as this is the linear dimension. I can use this linear, select the end points, go for the end point. This is my first starting point, And this is the end point of our line. So it shows the 100 mm. So in this way, I can use the uh, basic command and modify. If I want to move this object from one location to the another location, I have to use the, uh, I can say the modifying command. Let's say move. So move is the modifying command. What is asking? Select the base point 
So what is the base point? This is my line. So I can select any end of the line and it is asking specify the displacement. I want to say, let's say the 20 mm. So 20 mm I enter. So 20 mm, the line is moved from original location to the next location. So in that way, I can use similar way if I want to draw a circle. So if I want to draw a circle, so let's say first I will erase the first data, press the exit key and select the current data. So it will be deleted. It will be deleted. Now I want to draw the circle. Let's say select the circle and uh, then click on the screen. Then it is asking what kind of radius you want. So uh, if you uh, see the bottom side, specify the circle radius or the diameter. I want diameter. So I will press D for the diameter. And what is the diameter? Let's say again 100 mm. Okay, so it is 100 mm diameter circle. So if I want to show the dimension for that particular uh, feature that is uh, uh, circle dimension, I, I have to go for the different dimension. So it may be uh, in the, I can say the diameter. So diameter is mentioned. So I click on the diameter, you can see what is the diameter? 100 mm. By double clicking, I can edit or modify the font style of that particular entity. So double click, what is mentioning? It is the measurement style, then accuracy. So if I want to uh, change the thickness of this particular dimension, you can have the change the same. So let's say 30 mm. So it is changing the offset style, or uh, it, it, it will be using the same. So in the next section, uh, next session, we start with the actual. If I want to change the increase the size of this font, you can say, let's say it is showing the uh, how much? 25 mm. So in 25 mm, I will be going with the increasing size in the modifying command. So it is multi-line test. It is showing 2.5. If we go modifying commands, it will be changing its size. So in the next session, we can start with the our actual uh, <coughs> commands, basic commands and modifying how to start with the drawing and all. So here I'll stop and uh, uh, thank you all for patiently listening. Thank you. So.